Hi everyone, this is Sean from Makey Models 81. Hope you're all very well. This is my kit review of the Blumen Voss BVP194. Um, brought the kit because, as I mentioned in my previous video, that uh, it's a really unusual design. Um, I know the, the previous editor to this was just a, a single engine, um, prop engine. But this version has some sort of um, uh, jet propulsion with it as well. So uh, yeah, that's the only reason I bought the kit. Um, and upon getting the kit, really, really surprised at how well um, the detail is for it. So let's start with the instructions. Uh, A4 size um, booklet with regards to safety instructions and how to, to make models, which is handy, I guess. Um, paint chart, uh, typical um, Ravel style, and then you've, I think you've got a couple here that you have to mix yourself, um, which is okay, I don't mind doing. Sprue diagram, and then the, the parts start from one all the way through. Um, there's a whole engine assembly, and uh, putting the um, fuselage uh, halves together. Uh, so straightforward um, instructions. I like Ravel, they give you the option to either do bomb bay doors open or cut yourself. And again, versions of having the wheels um, retracted um, or in a landed position. <clears throat> and again, so 22 steps in all. So not a, a you know a huge uh, kit. Um, you've got the uh, first paint scheme, so two paint schemes in total. I think I'll go with the uh, camo version. So this is the Summer and Autumn Scheme Russia 1946, uh, which um, I don't mind doing. It's quite angular, uh, so I have to use some tape to, to get these all painted up. But, you know, looking forward to a challenge. I've never done that. I've just done sort of a camo where I've done it by freehand. Um, so uh, I look forward to sort of having to sort of take this down. Probably going to be quite fiddly, but... Right, so I need to, need to keep sort of challenging yourself. Uh, and this cam I think is the uh, uh, Fino 1946 scheme, which again doesn't look too bad at all. So straightforward instructions for Ravel kits. Uh, decals, nice, uh, nice and crisp, good register. Um, look, so I look forward to these. Um, yeah, lots of little pieces. Uh, if you look down here, um, let's get that in focus, might help. There we are, that's better. Um, obviously, you've got uh, lots of uh, fine uh, detail on here. So, uh, yeah, should be a challenge. I think the dash uh, dashboard, the instrument panel, um, has no detail. I think it has slight detail actually, but you have got um, the decal there for it, which, um, as well as um, armrest, I think these are the uh, ones that go on the armrests, uh, as it were. Um, so yeah, decals, not too bad at all. Uh, let's start. We'll have a look at the, uh, there's only three sprues, two of which um, are the uh, larger ones, and the third one is the clear sprue. Um, and just, yeah, I mean, this is what won it over for me. I think the, the detail to the Bombay um, is just so crisp. It really is uh, nice and uh, detailed. You can see the rivets. I um, haven't counted them yet, but I will do so. Um, a good indicator, you know, of the quality is the actual propeller. I think that a lot of the ones um, my um, Measure Schmidt um, one had a lot of flash on, but this is so crisp and really nice. You've got um, uh, the panel lines there, um, so uh, really nice and crisp uh, panel lines. So that's uh, part of the wing halves there. You've got the engines, not too much detail. I've seen better engines, but they're not too bad. Um, uh, so the towel fin and the the uh, engine cowling there. So uh, and then this is the the bottom half of the wings again. Recessed panel lines, which is great. Um, not too deep. Just they, you know they look right. They look in scale for the model. Um, turn that over. Um, wheel well again. Just 
the detail is just fantastic. It really is, really is good. So um, that's both sides there. Uh, 1997 is the uh, the date on there, the kit. Uh, I like it because it comes with, uh, you know, it's even protected the, the bits of the engine there. So, uh, really good. Um, back wheel detail. Uh, brilliant. So, if we go on to the other large um, sprue, no pilot. Uh, with this kit, which is a shame. So I either have see if I can scrounge a pilot from another kit or have it on the ground um, with Bombay doors. I don't really, really want to have the, the Bombay doors open on this kit. Um, the chair again. If I just get it focused there. Or, um, limited deal. I think I'll take all the seat belts off and scratch build those. Um, wheel detail, brilliant. So I'm actually got um, some detail on there. So I might get rid of the cat. Go on, get down. Um, the instrument panel for the uh, where the chair uh, seat goes, not too bad. Again, um, be fiddly to paint, but well worth it, I think. Details on the Bombay doors. That's number one. And then you've got the uh, bombs themselves there, which are in the halves. So again, not too bad. This is part of the jet propulsion engine. Again, the you know the cone shape is just so crisp. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, really nice. Again, just the cone for the the front part of it is just uh, nice and crisp. I flip it over. Not a huge amount of detail in the actual cockpit. I don't think I'm going to go to town with this. I think I'll just uh, leave it as it is. Um, yeah, it's very really light paneling on there. Same for this one. Just again on the uh, reverse of the Bombay doors. Some nice uh, light panel lines on there. This is part of the engine as well. So you've got the detail, and they've actually slightly bored them out. Um, obviously not hollow, but just to give you that bit of uh, detail. I mean, I'm just really surprised by this kit. Uh, I say the the year before with my um, measure smith you know the, the difference is just so vast you know um, and then again there the instrument pa instrument panels I think you've actually got dials on there which again is it's just brilliant so yep that's the sprue there and then finally just the cockpit uh, detail um, again really crisp um, I think there's at least slight distortion and that just comes from the Bend of the glass, I think. I don't think it's actually causing any magnification. It's nice and thin. Uh, so you've got two halves. You can have it open or closed. Well, sorry. The pictures on the side of the box, if I just have a look here. Um, so I'll move my finger. Actually depicts it uh, being open there. Obviously you can have the cowling open as well. So I could do that in terms of having it on the ground. Maybe having some sort of technical issue that is just about to take off but couldn't fly with the rest of them. Um, but obviously, I know this is the pictures of the prototype, but uh, as they're in half, I might be able to have it open. So, yeah, that's the kit of uh, the Blumen Voss P104. Hope you like it. Um, I will, as I say, be doing this next for my build, so we'll do a build review of this. Uh, and hopefully it goes together nicely like uh, the you know the quality of the kit so hopefully you won't have any issues so yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'll uh, speak to you very soon cheers guys